Okay, real quick for a review for your test. Um, I know from history that this causes people problems, but when you have a polynomial and you need to find all the zeros, okay, if you can factor it, which we can't factor this one, you have to just keep playing with synthetic division until you get it down to a quadratic. That means where it'd be x to the second. On the test, I'm really nice because you don't have to play the guessing game. I'm going to give you some zeros to try. Use these. Okay, it doesn't matter which order you do them in, but let's try like negative 1 first. So, 20, 10, negative 5, negative 2. Notice I'm just writing down all the coefficients for my polynomial. I have an x to the 4th, x to the 3rd, x to the 2nd, x to the 1st, no x, so I'm not missing any terms. So always be really careful in that case. Do your negative 1. And just do synthetic division real quick. And you better get zero. If you don't get zero over here, you did something wrong. Because it told me there's zeros. So let's hope that I copied this down right. Whatever this is, drop it down. This is going to give me negative 7. That's going to give me, what, 13. Because remember you add. If you multiply, you're going to get negative 13. Add. That gives me negative 3. Multiply on the diagonal. That's a positive 3. When you add, you get negative 2. That gives me a positive 2. And when I add, I get 0. So woohoo! Should have gotten that, and I did. Now, once you get a 0, you're going to use these numbers right here. Okay? You're not going to ever go back. You're going to keep breaking it down. This time, they told me another 0 is negative 2. So I'm going to use these four numbers right here. But I'm going to use negative 2. Okay. So whatever this first number is, we drop it straight down. Multiply on the diagonal. Add up and down. If I multiply, that's a positive 2. If I add, that's negative 1. That's a positive 2. And look, I get a 0. Better get a 0, because that's told me. Now, notice I'm down to 3 terms. That's what I want, because notice that's 7x squared minus x minus 1. Okay? Now, I can either factor it, which obviously this one's not going to factor, okay? Or I can use the quadratic formula. You're going to want to use the quadratic formula on your test. I promise, it's not a pretty one. Okay, so notice what this says. It wants the opposite of b. Here b is negative 1. The opposite of a negative 1 is a positive 1. b squared would be 1. a is 7. c is negative 1. All over 2 times a. a is 7. That's going to give me 1. This, i got two negatives, so I can see I'm going to be adding. And 4 times 7 times 1 is, what, 28, all over 14. So I'm going to get 1 plus or minus the square root of 29, all over 14. That would be my other two zeros. Ugly, but that's the way it works.